So I'm 26 years old and I have a lot of regrets and no doubt plenty of you out there do as well. And I feel like most often when I talk to people about what bothers them most in their life, it's always things they regret. Maybe it was a mistake they made, maybe it was somebody they love that they accidentally hurt, or maybe they intentionally hurt. So in this video, I thought I'd be open and honest about all the things I regret in my entire life. I regret not spending more time outdoors when I was a kid. I regret not trying harder in high school, not listening to all of the teachers and parents and coaches that said I had massive potential that I was wasting and being lazy, not doing what I felt I should have done. You know what I really regret is not learning to play an instrument at a very young age and becoming incredibly good at it. I regret worrying so much about girls in high school. <laughs> How much time I, I spent worrying about whether or not somebody liked me or the fate of our relationship when I was 16 years old. I regret not spending enough time with my mom. I grew up in a split household and most of my life was spent living with my dad. And I shouldn't have done that. Or not, one of the biggest things I regret is spending so much time playing video games. I spent so many hours playing video games like Call of Duty, believing that you know one day I would be the best of the best. And I think that it was important for me to exercise my passions in that way. But I wish that I had been more cognizant of the reality, which is that my passions, my interests, they were not actually rooted in what I found to be entertaining. They're rooted in what I find to be meaningful. And using the time that you have to solely pursue things that we find entertaining is not as fulfilling as sacrificing some of that time to dedicate to things we find meaningful, which are sometimes not as enjoyable. So there really is a big difference between doing something you love and learning to love the things that you do for people, for your passions, for whatever it is that you find fulfilling in life. Whether that's having a family or writing a book or pursuing medicine, it's all in sacrifice for something. And I wish that I had spent more of my childhood developing skills and developing the discipline to use my time wisely in pursuit of those fulfilling and meaningful things. I regret not staying in touch with my grandparents as much as I should have. I regret all the times I could have tried harder and yet I didn't. I regret all the times I had sat there waiting for other people to give me permission to do the things I always wanted to do never realizing that there was never going to be somebody that came along and gave me permission to do something. And only now, later in my life, do I realize that all the things that I've ever wanted to do, there was nobody ever really stopping me. You know what I regret? I regret cutting my own hair in high school because I looked terrible. I basically regret every single time I've ever slept in. And I know how trivial that sounds, but I love my mornings. Mornings are like so spiritual to me. And every single time I miss them because I'm so tired or because I'm so unmotivated to get up, I kind of die a little inside. And it sounds so overdramatic, but I, I regret every single time I've woken up late or I've slept in. I regret not going for more walks with my dog. I remember always getting home from school feeling so tired and exhausted and never giving enough time to Cooper before he passed away. So I really do regret not spending more time with him, not giving him more of my love. And I regret that a lot. I regret 
not pursuing the more creative part of my personality earlier on in my life. Growing up in a small town, I was sort of stuck in a student athlete identity that I felt prevented me from ever really pursuing any creative endeavor outside of that domain. And so it made me very bitter growing up, never feeling like I could actually pursue a creative aspect of my identity or exercise it in any way without being judged. I feel that if I had done that, maybe I would not have so radically moved to New York City right after I graduated high school. I probably would have continued on to my secondary education. Maybe I would have played football or baseball at college. Things would be different, very, very different. I wouldn't have spent so much of my life wondering what I wanted to do if I had just chosen to do it when I was younger, to explore it, and to make mistakes then rather than make mistakes now. I regret not stretching as much. Oh my gosh, my back. I regret basically every single time I ever felt jealous about somebody or something. It feels so justified to be jealous in the moment, but you realize afterwards how stupid and how much of a waste of energy it was. I regret not having traveled basically my entire life. I've spent the greater part of 26 years on the same 600 mile stretch along the east coast of the United States, never really having been anywhere in my life. And it makes me sad. It's part of the reason why I'm going on this road trip before med school is because I realized that once med school starts, that's kind of it. And there was something somebody said at a panel, a student panel, and he said, there are not many times in life where we are so capable of ascertaining a time where things will definitively change from there on out. And I think that was really important for me to hear because he's right. This is a time in my life that I will not have probably ever again, where I have zero obligations, zero priorities, zero responsibilities. And I think it's important to exercise that level of freedom to the greatest degree possible before my life is consumed by an oath that I am swearing to take to do well unto others, to help others, to heal others. It's an oath I want to take, an oath I've, I've wanted to take, but it does come at a great sacrifice of this being free. And so, yeah, I regret not traveling because I think that that's very important for gaining perspective. And it's a shame I haven't done more of it. I regret being such a smart ass to my teachers in high school. Being a substitute teacher, having experienced that, knowing what it feels like on the other side now, I can't imagine how exhausted those teachers were from an entire day spent dealing with difficult kids like me, having to go home and be an upstanding and outstanding father or mother, or having to deal with all of the family responsibilities waiting for you at home, only to come back the next day to have to deal with other kids who are difficult, like me. I regret being that person. <laughs> I regret being unfaithful in my relationships because there's nothing worse than betraying somebody that you love and who loves you. That's something that eats me every single day of my life. People always say, you know, live your life with no regrets. But it doesn't really make any sense because you don't know what you're going to regret until you sort of retrospectively reflect upon that experience and, and maybe you realized you could have done something differently. And so the saying shouldn't be live your life with no regrets. It should be live your life with enough courage to make decisions that necessitate sacrifice so that in retrospection, you realize that there could have been things that you've done differently, 
but you appreciate the decisions you made because they have made you into the person you are now. Why I see regrets as being a necessary part of life, a necessary part of making meaningful sacrifices, meaningful decisions. So don't go out there and say to yourself, I'm gonna live my life with no regrets. Because if you're not living your life with some degree of regret, you're probably not making meaningful sacrifices in your life. Because a meaningful sacrifice necessitates some level of regret. And so it's not living your life with no regrets. It's having the courage to live life with regrets and still see those as being beneficial to your character, to your identity. Seeing that as an opportunity to do things differently next time. By the way, those are some of my regrets in my life. Let me know what some of yours are because I'm curious. And if you enjoyed it, like the video. But anyways, guys, thanks a bunch. It's been fun. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.